My name is Paul Nurse. I'm a, a scientist, a cell biologist, and a geneticist. Um, at the present time, I'm president of the Royal Society and director of a new biomedical research institute in London called the Francis Crick Institute. And I also um, run a laboratory um, investigating uh, how cells control their division and how they control their shape using a very simple organism, the fission yeast, Schizosaccharomyces pomy. In the approaches I've tried to use working um, with yeast, uh, I've tried to combine genetics, molecular biology, and cell physiology, thinking about the whole organism, but um, using um, genetical and reductional approaches to understanding um, the problems that I was interested in. And I was really um, very much uh, motivated by the work that was done by Sidney Brenner and Francis Crick when they were working on uh, how the genetic code worked, how um, information coded in DNA, in DNA was um, uh, transcribed into RNA and then into um, protein, as was eventually um, we found out. And what I liked about the way that they approached these problems was they, they often use rather simple techniques, often genetic, uh, to investigate how things were working, and then move from those rather abstract um, types of experiments to real explanations mechanistically of what was happening. And they're characterized by beautiful, clear logic, really building up a case, testing it, and coming out with conclusions that have stood um, time, in fact, they have um, really still are operative. Um, and it's really because they were so logical and so clear-headed in their thinking. And the approaches really that they follow there are ones I tried to introduce into the work I did, looking at um, cellular problems using genetic approaches often. And it's an approach I tried to convey to my colleagues in the lab, my graduate students, my postdoctoral workers, and my technical staff, so that they can see that by very clear thinking, um, often rather simple um, approaches can be very uh, revealing. And there was another aspect of it, really, which was always to be thinking about the behavior of the overall cell, of the organism, if you like, and not to get so locked down into molecular details um, that you lost the big picture. And that's another aspect of the work that um, Brenner and Crick did that I always found useful and which I tried to communicate to my colleagues. And in thinking why some scientists succeed, um, they of course have to do good experiments, they have to respect the data, they have to be clear thinking. But the motivation for that is really very important. And um, often very good scientists have a very intense curiosity almost a passion of wanting to know the answers as to how things work. And if you aren't driven by a real passion of that sort, it, it's quite difficult to keep going through what quite often is, is um, difficult times when experiments don't work and things don't um, work out the way you expect. And you can waste weeks, months, sometimes even a year or more work um, because of those sorts of problems. And um, unless you have the passion to want to know it's very difficult to get through that. So curiosity really matters.